Hey everyone, I'm Owen from Square Balloon and today we're going to do a quick tutorial on um, favicons. So these are the icons at the top of your browser tab. When you open up a new tab you'll see that um, there's an icon in it or else it'll be a default one if not. And it's really useful to identify which tab you need to change to without having to open the tab itself. Um, especially if you've got 20 open like myself you won't be able to read the title of it. Um, so first thing you need to do is to generate this image so I will do this in Photoshop you can do this in whatever tool you want to use um, what do you need to do uh, I've created one here already but I'll just show you the process the main thing you need to do is make sure it's 64 by 64 or you can do 32 by 32 or 16 by 16 um, in this case I did 64 by 64 and it's obviously a square I've added my logo and you just need to be aware it's going to be really small so if we look at the view and then look at the actual pixels that's what it's going to be but if you think about it in a browser tab it's actually going to be more like that so you need to make it identifiable but um, yeah sometimes you might lose some elements to make it a bit easier once I've exported this I'll just save this as a JPEG and I'll just save it as this one and then I will go over to um, this website so um, this website is favicon-generator.org uh, if I actually have already done one so go to here I choose my icon I upload it I generate favicon and what it does uh, first of all you need to know this link here has got all of your images in it so I download them that's not always obvious uh, I'll save it I'll actually right click and show in folder so that I can um, show you how it works so uh, here I've got my zip file, I can just um, right click, I'm going to use 7-zip and extract it or you can use whatever method you want and I'll just overwrite them all just for the tutorial. You see it's made a lot of images. Some of these images are actually made because they um, they work on like your home screen of your phone and stuff like that. You can see these are Apple icons here. Um, so if you have a progressive web app or anything like that it would use these icons for that. Uh, and it's controlled by this uh, manifest JSON and I think by this browser config as well um, so we need to know that and then what you need to do is upload them to your website using your filezilla I've already done it we see it uploads them all there uh, and that should be good enough and then what you need to do is you need to add it to the the header of your website so if you look on this and I hit control and U for source code you'll see that in the header I've uploaded this code which does it so you can see the head finishes here, it starts up here, finishes here, and in between I've put somewhere I've put these. Uh, in this case I'm using Joomla so I've added it into the template and you get this code from your favicon here. So this website has already generated your um, your code that you just copy and paste and it will already have the right references to the right images and stuff. Um, bear in mind it's not always instant. Um, you don't like you can see here if I refresh it's still got the old icon on it but it will happen eventually I will clear your browser cache if you want to see it um, so we could try that and see if that works um, let's see if local storage works it hasn't but um, sometimes it's uh, server storage as well but uh, you should see that eventually you will get the, the the cache will um, clear and you'll get your icon it might take a little while it might not be instant but trust me this process does work so uh, that's how you do the favicons and everything else so thanks a lot for watching if you like this video please subscribe